everyone my name is Abhishek Jam and through this video I am going to start InflixDB tutorial series. If you are watching this video then there is a high probability that you know what exactly the time series database and for what business reason we use them. If you are not aware of that then please write the comment in the comment section then I will try to put together some basic theoretical concept related to the time series database. However, I have put a very basic theoretical concept on an upcoming slide before actually we're gonna see how we can install the InflixDB along with the basic commands. So let's start what we're gonna cover in this video. So the very first thing which we're gonna see is the brief introduction about InflixDB followed by the installation of InflixDB on window, then how to run an InflixDB server and a client and then some basic commands related to the creation of database, list down database and accessing the database. You can see the port, you can see the URL um, through which you can download the InflixDB package which comes in the zip file, right? So let me just show you how can we do that. So the moment you will just go to that URL which you can see on my screen, you will be prompting here and it will ask for the registration where you have to give your first name, last name and email that I have already done it. Come down to this download section and click on this v1.6.1. Here you can see the instruction related to the platform, right? So since we are going to see this for the windows, what you have to do is you have to just click on this button. The moment you will click, you can see the download has been started. So let me just pause that since I have already uh, downloaded it. So you will get this zip file. What you have to do is you just copy this file and go to any other any location where you want. I am in this particular folder. What can you do is then inflixdb demo. Okay. And just copy the zip file here. Okay. Then unzip this file. Once you unzip, unzip this file, you will get this folder. Click on this and see you have a bunch of executable files. And that's the beauty of Inflix DB package installation, right? It is providing you all the executable and these executable comes up with all the dependency in it, right? So there is no need to install any specific thing on your machine. Right. So here you can see five executables. The first one is the Inflex, which is a client. Then we have an Inflex Inspect, Stress and TSM, which we're going to cover in upcoming videos. And then you have an Inflex D, which is nothing but your server. So just double click on this. Okay. Let's see if there is any error. There is no error. So it means server is running. And this server by default run on 8086. Then we have a config file, which we're going to see in very much detail in the upcoming videos. Now, the another thing which you have to do is before starting the Inflex DB, you have to launch the client. Now you can see the client has been launched successfully and it has been connected to on 8086 on which our server is running, right? So now from the installation perspective, we are done. Now what we're going to see is we're going to see some basic commands related to the Inflex DB. And the good part about is it is pretty much same what we have in my SQL. See, I have these five databases in the name section. You can see inter underscore internal for first Inflex DB demonstrate, blah, blah, blah. What you have to do is if you want to create a new database, just write a command, create database, second DB. Okay, let me just put the command again show databases now you can see the second db has been created to use that you have to use the command use second db oh if you just if you can see that the spelling is wrong here right send con db so what you have to do is let me just quickly again do the database DB. This time we are good. Then use second DB. Yes, this time we are good. Now what you have to do is now we are done with the database creation and we are inside the database, right? Now to create a table, 
here we have a little bit different way as compared to what we have in the relational database where we use the different different SQL queries here a lot of stuff has been done by the Inflips DB team itself so you just need to fire some set of queries and you are good to just create the table and all those stuff so I have already created some sample queries for you let me just run them quickly and I'm gonna I, I'm just gonna explain in the next video what it does right and I'll just let me just give you some little bit background and in and, and in, a, in the next video definitely i'll be covering everything in very much detail right so all these insert command has been executed successfully since there is no error so now what you have to do is just select a star from temperature just remember we haven't created this table but now we have this table created just we fire this insert command right now here if you will see you can understand a bit like insert temperature this table was not there but now we have a temperature table created now we have this office name equal to 01 and value is 33.3 and we have similarly different bunch of values right you can see this office name and value as a column this time is coming by default and this is what the default feature of uh, inflix db and that is what it makes a time series database right so what happens is whenever you fire any query by default time get indexed based on on which point of time you are inserting any record so this time is in an epoch format right so that is how you can create the table within the inflix db another thing which i just wanted to show you quickly we can run another query set of queries okay you can see this first here we have a t insert and because of that we are getting this error message if there is no error then we are not getting any error message now let me just run select the star from and this time if you rem if you see this after insert we have cpu u sage right see now this time we have four columns here if you will see cpu uses the table name then we have a host which is a column here which you can see then we have a reason which is another column then we have a value which is another column here right and then now the, there is a different terminology uh, in the inflix db for table we are referring as a measurement then we have a column which we are refer as a, either a tag key or a field tag or field that we're gonna see in upcoming videos right and we're gonna see the complete query structure as well that's it from my side for this particular video now let's see what we're gonna cover in the next video so these are just theoretical concept uh, which you can just read it on my slide I just put it for reference and definitely in upcoming videos I, I am going to cover these critical points as well thank you for watching this and stay tuned for a next session in the next session we're gonna cover is a query structure and an inflix ql which is pretty much similar to the sql query and that is the major you know major major impacted point of inflix db it has a sql query kind of query language through which you can access the data that's it from my side this video don't uh, please don't forget to subscribe the video if you like if you don't like it just please feel free to give the feedback in a comment section and i will try to improve i will try to incorporate your feedback in my upcoming video thanks for watching this